If it's time to replace your old heating and cooling system, you have lots of options to choose from. However, your most important decision is actually how to buy a new system. The most common approach is the free estimate, where the salesperson looks at your existing system, applies some rules of thumb, and then quotes a price. Getting just a free estimate, though, may wind up costing in the long run. We have test data on over a quarter of a million systems, and 95% of those systems don't work like they should. Well, both DOE and EPA have done uh, a lot of studies on, on the efficiency of uh, heating and cooling systems across the country. And we have found that over 70% of the systems are installed incorrectly to some degree or another, reducing the efficiency of that system, which a homeowner just purchased, uh, dramatically. They may think they're buying a, a high efficiency Energy Star SEER 14 cooling system, and in fact, the operating efficiency of that system may be closer to 10. Unfortunately, when a new system doesn't work like it should, it's really too expensive to take it out and start over. So in this program, we'll explain how and why mistakes can happen and how you can avoid them. Consumer protection authorities say that being an informed consumer is really the key to a successful purchase. When your air conditioning system breaks, you're often tempted to just go and buy a box to replace the box that's broken. But it's not quite like buying a TV set because that box integrates into a whole system with air flows and duct systems and registers and insulation. And what you really have to do is stop and look at the whole system and find out what works best for you. HVAC systems typically last around 12 to 20 years. So the choice you make has long-term implications on utility costs, repair costs, comfort, and even health. What you pay up front for new heating and cooling equipment is just a start. For example, this home has a $250 a month average utility bill, with heating and cooling representing over half the bill. The yearly utility total is $3,000. Now in 10 years, this adds up to $30,000, and in 20 years, it'll be $60,000. However, the real dollar amount will increase because energy prices will probably continue to rise. You've probably heard that the new units are much more efficient. So why is it that some homeowners who buy a new system see little or no utility savings? One of the most common mistakes that people make is they buy an air conditioner that's way too big for their house. And the result of that is that it turns off and on real fast, which is real inefficient. And to get up to full efficiency, it has to run 10 or 15 minutes. And the large air conditioners don't do that. They're off and on all the time. Creating uh, imbalances of uh, temperatures throughout the house. And uh, they do a, a very poor job on removing the moisture in the air. Although modern equipment is far more energy efficient, it's also much more affected by any problems with your existing duct work. We've done a lot of work in looking at how ducts impact air conditioning systems. And typically, a leaky duct system can lose about 20 to 40% of the energy that you pay for to heat and cool your house. In order to ensure your new system really works properly, consumer protection groups suggest that you insist your contractor follow the recommended best practices of the industry. My advice is don't use a contractor that just comes in and says, I'll put in the same size unit you have, or just ask you how many square feet your house is to put in to decide what size air conditioner. To do it right, the contractor's got to calculate the load. They've got to use Air Conditioning Contractors Association of America Manual J, and they've got to measure things like the windows and how much insulation you have and the floor area and the wall areas. But it's very important also to get a, a much firmer grasp on how leaky the structure is and how leaky the distribution system is. And these are the two huge components that drive the load of the house. Measuring and testing the home and the deck system is far more in-depth and accurate than the typical free estimate. The process usually takes two to three hours. If any issues were found that would reduce the performance of your new system, your consultant will explain the most economical ways to solve them. It makes no sense to put a higher efficiency air conditioner in a very bad duct system. So you want to allocate the funds appropriately. It usually pays to put some of the money into a better duct system. Home and duct performance testing also usually uncovers the true causes of any excessive dust, allergy suffering, or uncomfortable room problems you may have. Maybe you aren't comfortable in a particular room. A bigger air conditioner, a higher efficiency air conditioner isn't going to fix that problem. 
You need to look at the whole house and decide how is it that we can go in and actually make this customer more comfortable, have a quieter system, and have an efficient system. So that contractor will present to the homeowner new options to correct the bypasses, maybe add insulation, which is often needed, and certainly taking care of the ducts. Choosing a heating and cooling contractor is, is really the, the first most important step a homeowner will make. If they want a system that's really going to meet their needs, then they need to buy it from a contractor that's going to do the job right. We find it's very important to spend a little bit more time with a contractor who indeed is willing to invest his time doing more of the whole house diagnostic. How can you find a contractor willing to first do the proper engineering? While many are only interested in a quick and highly profitable replacement metal box sale, there are good heating and air contractors who follow the recommended best industry practices so they can do the best installation possible. Comfort Institute member contractors have the necessary instruments, computer software, and training. And as a condition of membership, they give a 100% satisfaction guarantee on performance testing. A quality installation will save money, solve problems, and work properly from day one. So invest the time to get all the facts. Ask your contractor to measure and test. It's simply the right way to buy a new comfort system that you'll enjoy for years to come.